Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Azizonda and welcome to another unboxing. You will know by now that I've got quite a few PC parts from my PC build. And uh, actually, uh, I've got these two new parts coming in for me pre... Uh, I've had these two new parts come in for me from DX.com to review. And then after that, I only need one more part, which is a processor. And I will have a full PC build for you guys. Which I'm going to do a step-by-step -step process of the build, like putting it all together and such. So that will be a pretty cool and fun thing to do. So, uh, first of all... This one here is the motherboard I'll be using. This got sent to me from DX.com, which is why it is all in Chinese. Um, but it is a Asus M5A97 LE R2.0 Pro. Uh, basically, this is a pretty nifty motherboard. Um, I'm not too sure what the pricing was on DX.com, but obviously all the links are in the description below. Everything on DX.com is usually pretty much cheaper than anywhere else anyway. So it comes straight from China, straight from the uh, factories, wholesalers, whatever. So it's, you get a pretty decent price. So um, let's take a look inside. So inside we do get the uh, SATA cable, and I actually don't know what this is. Um, it's, it looks just look like a backplate for um, obviously USB ports and such, but we'll probably see that as we put it on. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got a kind of backplate there which will cover that if you want to put that on. Let's take this out here, put that to one side. Uh, we'll put the box down. Um, I'll quickly kind of show you a brief kind of overview of the box. Um, Obviously it's all in Chinese, so it's probably quite hard for her uh, to understand and such, but there we go, that's kind of a brief overview. Uh, obviously if you've got the normal box in English, it would be exactly the same. But um, let me just take this out the bottom here. Uh, also inside we do get an instruction manual, because the CD, your uh, installation CD. But um, obviously this, my friends, is all in Chinese. <laughs> but guys, you probably won't need it too much, um, let me put that to one side, let me move the motherboard over, put that in the middle like so, uh, we'll put that in the back as well, as well with the CD, we'll put that out of the way. Um, it's basically, let me, let me uh, give you a kind of a few features of the motherboard as well, which you guys will kind of like. Um, it has TPU and EPU, obviously EPU being the energy efficient uh, version and the other one being a Turbo V processing unit so you got that as well as energy processing unit um, basically what this allows you to do is to overclock your CPU and basically overall make your system a little bit quicker um, there's two different modes on that you've obviously got like the full uh, the full kind of open one which basically means uh, you can have full freedom and tune it to whatever you like um, it has uh, precise voltage controls, etc., uh, advanced mon monitoring for auto tune and turbo V functions, um, which basically means that you can basically do it all by yourself, have full freedom, and basically be unlimited to what you can overclock and just full on go out and try and go crazy. Or they have the nice user friendly way uh, to overclock, which is auto tuning, and that basically keeps your system stable. Uh, but whilst making it a little bit faster as well, so that's a nice little feature. Uh, so first thing you'll notice is it has four RAM slots, um, so you can have all of your RAM put in there. So that would obviously, if you've got eight gig sticks, you could go up to 32, um, 32 gig of RAM, uh, or you can go for 16. <laughs> There's not really much in, in, any need for more than 16. Um, you've got your two, uh, you've got your two graphics card slots. Uh, one of them is PCI. E, uh, 16 and the other one, and oh, the other one's also a 16, uh, so that's good. I was presuming that may have been an 8, I'm not too sure, but yeah, that's a 16, um, which obviously means that's the uh, quickest ones that are available at the moment, I believe. I believe it's to do with speed anyway. As you guys know, I am still a bit of a PC noob, I am learning, which is why I'm doing this as my whole kind of first PC build. Uh, but first thing you may notice actually, if you uh, had a look at the socket just there, that's not an Intel socket, that's an AMD socket. You may have seen on the box as well, but basically I wanted to do an AMD system. I currently have my own PC, which is an uh, Intel system, uh, which is basically running on i7-3820, which is a pretty decent processor, but um, I'm hoping to get one of the 8-core uh, AMD processors, which should offer a big, big load of speed power. Um, so that would be a very, very nice little project for me. Um, I've also got a SAT, uh, and solid shape drive, a solid state drive SSD that I'll be reviewing as well. And basically all this stuff is going to go into one big system. Um, at the moment I actually have a GTX 650 which I'm hoping to uh, try and get a um, an AMD based card to go in this system. As a, I'm not too sure how they would counteract with each other. I don't know if they'd actually work well or not but I would prefer, if having an AMD system I'm going to do a full AMD build. So it would be AMD CPU as well as an AMD uh, graphics card. But, um, it's just uh, that's just what I like. I prefer AMD anyway. The only reason I went with Intel is because obviously it's my main PC and I, that's what I got recommended at the time. But I basically want to see what the difference is between AMD and Intel. There's a lot of 
cheaper processors out there for AMD, which seem to offer a lot more speed and power, but Intel seem to have the upper hand on uh, everything that everyone says, so mm, there we go. But it's always worth doing some tests and getting your own personal opinion, so it'll be nice to check that out once I get a CPU, uh, an AMD CPU, and uh, we'll have a full test and play with that. So uh, that's pretty much it for the unboxing, guys. Um, obviously, <coughs> apologies. Uh, it has USB 3.0. I don't know how many of them, how many has it got? Um, it just seems to have two on the back, uh, just there. So we've got two, two uh, USB 3.0s, which is probably all you may be going to need. Uh, so obviously, USB 3.0 is just generally faster. Um, obviously, you've got the normal kind of uh, BIOS in there, so you, uh, bi the bi normal BIOS that you get with the Asus motherboards. Um, this is the newest version. I'm not too sure what what it is, but it's the same as what's on my Asus one for my um, for my current PC build. Um, which is it's pretty uh, pretty easy. It's all it's got easy mode on it. Easy uh, stands for easy basically. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it, guys. But obviously, it does feature the new uh, AM3 Plus AM well, yeah AM3 Plus series for the uh, for the FX series uh, USB no CPUs uh, for this motherboard. So that would be pretty decent. It's obviously Windows 8 ready, but no one's going to go for Windows 8. I'm going to go for Windows 7. Um, obviously, it's got your uh, Crossfire support. So obviously, you've got your two. Uh, Two graphics card slots, so you can have crossfire running in this, and it's going to be a pretty damn beastly, which is probably probably what I'm going to aim to try and do. Don't know what graphics cards I'll try and get yet next, but that's pretty much it, guys. So um, I can't really uh go on about it anymore. It's all uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I can do for an unboxing, guys. So, so thank you very much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, to be honest, <laughs> has this video been out of focus the whole time? It actually looks a little. No, it doesn't look too bad actually. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Um, but there we go, guys. Well, so thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully you're going to join me on the build process. And I'm probably going to ask you your opinions and what you guys would recommend. I don't know. First of all, I'm going to put this into like a test bench and try and uh, get one of them Dimes Tech test benches, or whether I'm actually going to put it into a whole PC case and have a, like an extra PC build like that. But um, that's pretty much it for me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.